What is going on guys? We are finally here. We're going to be reviewing Tomb Raider. Yes, 2018, the movie Tomb Raider. Now, if you guys have not gone and seen the movie yet, I do recommend you do not watch this because there's going to be spoilers. So you have been warned. If you want to go ahead and keep watching, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. If you have not gone and seen Tomb Raider, again, go check it out. Now it will officially begin. Guys, this movie, I got to say, was just absolutely incredible. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. There was issues... And there was some things that I did not like, and there's things I did like. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just start you guys off with the main story. It starts off where <clears throat> Laura is basically training uh, in the rain, and she's basically living life as a uh, bike messenger in London. She has no, she doesn't have her inheritance. She pretty much doesn't believe her father is dead um it doesn't even start <clears throat> like it did in the game now most of this movie was based on the game that was rebooted in 2013 so a lot of what was in the movie was not in the game and what was in the game was not in the movie so <clears throat> basically we do have where laura she uh, is doing something to get money by playing a bike messenger game and then she gets caught by the cops, uh, going over it, messing up the cop car, getting green all over herself because that was part of the game. And her father's friend, Anna, which again, if you play the games, you will know Anna is with the company Trinity. And she bails her out and then she tells her that you need to take over your father's legacy and you need to just accept that he's gone. It's been seven years. And we have where... She thinks about it and then she goes into the building that technically she does own, just not on paper. And she says that she's there to sign the papers. And finally, when she does this, she gets to see a package that her father left her all these years ago, which is a puzzle that is a key to his tomb. Now, she gets into the tomb and there's a secret passageway where she finds all these different things. That's due to Trinity, um, the island of uh off the coast of japan which was just absolutely crazy because they did amazingly well by putting this into the game which they did show in the beginning of the movie and she looks at it and then she sees a uh different ver uh, a uh, basically a version of her father basically saying that if you find this i'm dead but if you've seen my research you need to burn it because trinity does not need to have it and he basically tells her almost the same thing that he told her in the game and she wants to go off the coast of japan so she tries to sell her necklace she gets over i believe eight grand maybe nine grand depending on what it is because again she's not using her inheritance and she goes to Hong Kong in China and she finds a captain that her father was going to use. Well, she almost gets her stuff stolen and then she finally does find the captain and they go off into the sea. Now, it's just her and the captain. Here's the thing. In the in the game, it was her, the captain, uh, her friends, and a, a journalist that was there for basically providing the money. Now... I personally thought that I was like, okay, well, they basically, same version of the game. She gets on the island and she meets uh, Walton Goggins' character, which uh, he, honestly, I gotta say, Walton Goggins, if you're not a fan of him, he played as a uh, Vogel. Um, he, I'm a fan of him because I watched Justified, I watched Sons of Anarchy, I watched other shows. He did a fantastic job. He, uh, he, he was really ruthless in this, and it showed how much of a hard ass he can is he can be into different characters. And I will get into what Alicia Vikander did. I will get into that in the end of this. Um, but throughout the entire movie, we do see, of course, her trying to escape and learning that now she's a slave. Uh, same thing with um, the captain. And in this version, the, the captain, the one that was the captain of this, he, um, which was Ren, he did not train her. He was not... Uh, the one that trained her like in the movie because or the game because in the game uh it was him that trained her after her father died and her father was the one that trained her with the bow and among everything else she learned how to fight from him she learned how to fight with others that she learned later on down the road <clears throat> so 
she later on escapes and she falls into a uh, a after going through the plane, which was absolutely amazing. They put that in there. They put the parachute scene in there as well. They also put um, her falling into the river trying to escape. And they did such an amazing job putting all these key points that they had in the game into the movie, which I absolutely loved as well. And then we also got to see where we did not get to see in the movie, which is a little later, where her father is still alive. He's just been hiding this entire time from Trinity. He thinks he's hallucinating when he sees her, and he realizes he's not hallucinating. And since Laura's hurt, he's going to take care of her, and he explains to her why he's been there for seven years, that he was trying to keep um, Yamato away from the world because it was a plague or a curse. And she was trying to figure out why he never came home and he says because trinity and the island would not let me and he started asking laura about what she's been up to and she doesn't really tell him but then they get into an argument and he says that you need to get out of here if you basically just led them and since you didn't burn my research like i told you to and she says, I did not know that any of this was going to happen. And so she basically takes it upon herself to make things right. She goes back to release the prisoners that they have, including Ren. And she uses her bow and arrow, which was absolutely fantastic, which they did use um, in the movie. And then later on, her father tries to open up the tomb. And then, of course, Goggins' character won't let him. He basically says to uh, open it. He says no. And he gives Laura an ultimatum. You basically do it. You open it or your father opens it or I'm going to kill you both. And at the same time, um, she agrees to open it because she does not want her father dead. And they go through all these trials and the puzzles that they put into the movie. And then they finally reach the tomb and they open it and they finally realize that it was a virus. It was a virus that turned you into a monster. And her father knew this and they start fighting and Goggins tries to take off with a piece of, of her because this is what someone over in the U.S. paid for him to do. And at the same time, no one knew who this mysterious person was. And obviously, I kind of figured who it was, but I'll get to that here a little later on. And then we do see, of course, where Laura's father, Richard, is fighting against uh, Walton Goggins' character. And one of the other characters that got infected infects her father. And then Laura comes back and she finds her father. And then they finally do get a proper goodbye, uh, showing that... Uh, he's proud of her. He wants her to continue on the legacy, which she does because she goes and fights uh, Walton Goggins' character and she fights him. And then she grabs what he grabbed uh, from the tomb and she infects him with it. And then she kills him by pushing him into uh, the, the pit, I guess you would say, with all these other bodies. And then she finally escapes and then her and the rest of the refugees are able to get off the island. And then she goes right back to uh, the building and she signs the papers and gets everything. She owns everything. She tells Anna to do it, to be on top of everything. And once that happens, she finally realizes that Anna now has full control as well as she does. So she goes back to the manor and then she starts seeing everything that her father was trying to warn her about. Basically, it wasn't, it was basically saying once she heard from Vogel saying, Trinity is everywhere. And I was like, I, I was like, man, I hope they were going to put Anna as a, as a villain. And they did because now she finally realizes Anna is in there. And now you see where she's going to be doing the same thing she did in the game, trying to hunt down Trinity before they try to do anything else. And Anna is the top of it. She's one of the head leaders. Um, I, again, enjoyed this, and that's how it ended. She says, we're crossed, we got to do this. And, and basically, it was pretty much the ending, and I really did enjoy it. Um, Alicia Vikander, she did a hell of a job as Laura. I was very skeptical in seeing this, but this really did feel like Tomb Raider to me. It had had tombs. Um, there were some things it didn't really show with, like, the monsters. They didn't really show that very much. They didn't really show a whole lot of fighting like I thought. Um some things that I wish they did put in the game, they could put in this. But at the same time, they were trying to put their own little spinoff on this, which was absolutely fine. But I wouldn't mind if they put just a little bit more of the game into the movie. But I think the movie was absolutely fantastic. I think it was a lot better than the ones with Angelina Jolie. I'm just going to say that now. Those were not very good, in my opinion. At the time, yes, they were good. But then when you really look at it, when you get older and you're, and you're playing the games and you really look at it and you read the books and everything, it's like, uh, you know, that's not really Laura Croft. That's just, that's just not Laura you know but i thought alicia vikander did an amazing job i cannot wait to see her possibly in a sequel and 
I, I, I'll, I just can't wait, guys. I mean, it was an amazing movie, and I can't wait to see if we're going to get a sequel. Now, again, we are going to be getting um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. If you guys did not watch my review on that, go ahead and check that out. Um, I hope they do do another one because, again, um, this was the origin of Laura because she was dealing with her father's death. She was dealing with, you know, this legacy, trying to handle legacy, and really did not know what to do. So this is pretty much her origin story. Um, we still may have an origin story, which I hopefully they will still do. Um, they may do um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, um, possibly, or something like that, a uh, sequel to the second game, um, which they may do. I don't see no harm in trying to do that. So I'm probably going to do another video on that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel again if you're new. Um, let me know your thoughts about Tomb Raider. If you got to go see it, did you like um, Tomb Raider? Did you have issues with Tomb Raider? Did you like Alicia Vikander as Laura Croft? I think she did an amazing job. Again, this was I think the first movie I actually saw her in and I was going in very open-minded I was not you know I was not really biased or anything I was just like I was going okay if she sucks I will I will literally say she sucked but no she she was amazing um again they did not put a whole lot into the game but again you can't put every single little detail in a game into a movie that is based on a video game you can't really do that and I know that's impossible to put every single little detail in and they did put their own little spin on things like her father being alive and not putting the monsters in there that putting that entire curse because that's technically what Tomb Raider is is you know you go through all these trials and you have to deal with the monsters at the end and they didn't really put that at the end unfortunately but at the same time they did keep to the story of the origin of the game so I think they did a great job um, I will give this movie a 9 out of 10. Again, um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, again, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. If you guys are enjoying your day, go see Tomb Raider. I'm probably going to watch this again uh, when I have some time. I got some more videos coming out as well. So keep an eye on the channel, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.